What's up YouTube? So today, literally so many people have made comments about the amount I say. So today, because that's literally how I start my life every day. Um, but today I'm going to be doing another Q&A. A couple of days ago on Instagram, I asked you to ask me questions, stuff that you want to know. So I'm just going to be answering a few questions in this Q&A. If you like this video and want me to do more like this, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. I've just been reminded not to swear and also hit that notification button bell so that every time I upload a video, you know, because these videos are only getting better thanks to Katrine. <laughs> Love you, Katrine. So the first question is from someone with a username that I'm gonna try and pronounce and I'm absolutely gonna butcher. So it's Nathalie PNGT. Like I can't even pronounce PNGT because there's no vowels and we both know. <laughs> it's gone down from last time now only one person is watching this video it's just me and you but yeah anyway I'm just gonna screenshot it so you can see her name anyway any new stories coming out yes I am working on a story called the transfer at the moment if you check out some of my other videos you'll see me making it but I'm just working on it at the moment I'm not sure when it's gonna be published probably January I'm gonna see how it goes and how the inspiration goes I'm not gonna try and rush it I just want it to be like a really good story and really enjoy working on it so yes New stories will all be coming out, but the next one is the transfer. The next question is actually a really good question because it's something that I wanted to know when I first started writing episode. So it's from episode underscore Santa983. Hey, I'm writing and it's a lame question. It's not a lame question. There's no such thing as a lame question. But how do you do that like after you ask for a recap in Golden Girl? So what she's asking is basically when you start a new chapter, you can be like, do you want a recap of what happened in the last chapter? So you do it the same as you would do a choice. There are full guides on the episode portal. But what I do basically is like, do you want a recap of the, of the previous chapter? And then you put a choice for yes and a choice for no. And then in yes, I just like copy and paste the script from the last chapter so they can see like the last scene or the last important thing that happened in the previous chapter. Just, you know, in case they had a little break. So that's how you do it. If you're still confused about how to do it, just like send me a message and I'll try and help you out or like comment and I'll be more specific. This question is from Michael A. Mac 001. What made you decide to start writing and love you? Well, firstly, Michael, I love you too. Or is it Michelle? Michaela? Michaela? Is it Michaela? I don't know. Maybe it's Michaela? Michaela? I'm assuming it's Michaela. I love you too. I have always loved writing since I was like a little baby, little teeny weeny baby girl. Then I started to play episode and it's like the best app in the world. And then I was like, hmm, it'd be fun to write this. And then I did start writing and then everything was great. Uh, big shout out to Sandra G because she helped me write at the beginning. I couldn't have done it without her. She uses the bomb. Okay, question from the real G, Katrine Daly. Which story are you most proud of writing? It's definitely Becoming Queen Bee. Although, I mean, I love Becoming Queen Bee. It was just like, my, it was my favorite story to write. I really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I loved it from start to end. And I felt like it was really funny and sassy and I just really enjoyed writing it like that. But my new story, College Days Frat League, it's only got three chapters out at the moment and I've been writing it with my cousin, Johnny Legend. But I think once this has got a bit, few more chapters out, this might be my favorite story or the story I'm most proud of. Sarah Song 101 asked, what got you inspired to do Golden Girl? So Golden Girl was actually a remake. It started off as a remake of my original first ever story I wrote on episode Dear Diary. So like the first 10 chapters were like Dear Diary remake inspired, but then the whole sorority thing came because I'm obsessed with this YouTuber called Keaton Mill Burn, and she's in a sorority and she talks about sorority life a bit and I'm so interested in it and in England we don't have that like fraternity sorority system so I wanted to like read up more about sororities get to know them and like kind of divulge into that kind of Greek life and I found it really interesting so I thought why not make a story about it and I did and I it was great so yeah this question is from epi.bell. Why don't you reply to DMs? So I do try to reply to DMs as much as possible. If you're being an asshole, I probably won't reply because like, I'm not gonna spend my time replying to dickheads when I can spend my time replying to people who are actually nice or have genuine questions. So that's, that's the reason. Also, I probably get like 100 DMs a day and it's just so much to stay on top of. And I don't like using my phone all the time. Like I 
I don't like to be like out of this world all the time. So if I responded to every DM, I'd always be on my phone. I'd never be enjoying my actual real life. And I make an actual point of like trying not to be too much involved online. But if I do not reply to your DMs, I am sorry. You can always send another one or like write comments on my posts, like on Instagram or whatever. And I'll try and reply, I will, I promise. QWFan1 said, is there an age best suitable to write a story on episode or can you be any of any age to do so? Literally any age. If you can only get paid for it if you're over 18, but I would strongly recommend anyone of any age, if you're interested, in being a writer or like want to just try it, just do it. Like anyone of any age can do it. I know there's lots of authors that are under the age of 18 and they've got some incredible stories. It's such good practice and such an amazing thing to get into. Any age, just go for it. Karina underscore O-R-O-L-R said, not a question, but I love your stories and you're an amazing author. Yeah, if you send me that in a DM, I'd reply. No, thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate comments like that. It's nice to know that sometimes, like, the work is actually appreciated because sometimes I get worried because you only concentrate on, like, the negative comments. So when people, like, are actually nice, like, that actually means a lot to me. So thank you so much, you guys. You guys are the best. Ash.vidsnap sent a question that said, have you ever had negative comments which disturb you a lot? absolutely like somebody so i had cancer like skin cancer and put something about it on my instagram because the doctor thought it might come back and if it did obviously you gotta have some time off and i just wanted to keep you all updated but i'm fine by the way totally healthy everything's great but somebody messaged me and was like yeah i hope you die from it and i'm like i don't even know you i've never spoken to you and you're saying you hope i die from cancer like seriously, people online are absolutely crazy. There are some crazy, crazy, lying, manipulative, hateful, disgusting bleh, online. But it's okay, because I know if it was real life, they'd never say anything like that. So, you can be mean on the internet all you want, but you're still a pussy. This is actually another question from ash.vidsnap, but I love it. How do you feel about your brontoholics? What a great name. That's a great name, Brontoholics. If you're a Brontoholic, can't can cancel. Don't cancel me. If you're a Brontoholic, write Brontoholic down below in the comments. I wanna see at least 10 million comments, at least. Episode.kate said, can you do a video on how to use character customization? Yes, I can. What my actual plan is, is when I'm on my next stage of the transfer and I'm creating the first Where's my hair look like this? I'm creating the first chapter. I, you will be able to customize the main male love interest and the female character. So I will show you how I add the customization in for men and women. So yes, yes I will. Wanda.a asks how I pronounce my name. Bronte. That's my name. Bronte. Like how it's spelled, basically. So there's a question. I'm just scrolling through all the questions. There's one that I actually really like. So it's from Chase Lynn.R. And it says, what is one good thing that has happened to you this week? Now that's really nice. Like this is something that I actually like to do. Like sometimes if I'm feeling down or if I've had a bad day or week or whatever, I will, like when I go to bed, I will say five things that I'm grateful for or like five good things that have happened to me. You know, to keep their moods up because you can focus on the negatives, but you should really look at the positives as well. So one thing that I'm grateful for this week is, I so I went to York this weekend with my mum and there's this coat that I've wanted for ages from Superdry, but it's kind of expensive and I was like, no, nah, I can't justify spending that much money on it. And then while I was in York, I walked past Super Dry and I was like, okay, well, I'll have a look at the coat. And then it was 20% off, so I bought it. Yay, new coat! <laughs> so that's one good thing that happened to me this week. Super Dry had a sale. Z V A L. <laughs> Don't even know what that's meant to say. Says, have you ever been to the Netherlands? Yeah, I have actually several times. I only live like a 45 minute plane journey away from the Netherlands. So I've been like maybe five or six times and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be going to the episode meetup in Amsterdam next year, which I'm super excited about. So that will be like my seventh time. Yay! 
Nuktifu asked, how long have you been writing episodes? So I started writing in July of last year. So that's July 2017 and it's December 2018. So like nearly a year and a half now. And it's just the best thing I've ever done. Underscore episode stories underscore said, are you planning on writing any new stories in ink? Yes, I was planning on releasing the transfer in limelight and ink because like there's some people that are diehard ink fans and there are some people that are diehard limelight fans and who don't want anyone to be like, why didn't you publish it in this style? You hate me. I don't hate anyone. I definitely hate a few people, but I try not to hate, but you know, some people just ask for it. If you, like, if you really want me to write in ink, just comment down below and let me know, and then I can see if it's actually worth doing. But yeah, I am thinking the transfer will be in ink and limelight. Hopefully. Probably. Maybe. Jasmine underscore Villa Sensa, what an amazing name, I hope that's your real name, because what a great name, said, do you know how to draw? No, I'm so bad at doing anything with my hands to like, you know, like I can't dance, I can't draw, I can't paint, like just any of that stuff. I can't do DIY, I'm terrible with all of it. In my mind, great, anything like actual physical, I'm terrible. Except sports, but I'm just kind of lucky because I'm really tall, I'm like five foot nine and a half, five foot ten. So I'm pretty good at sports because of my height. Oh, underscore it's underscore Amia said, are you going to make another episode of Golden Girl? Absolutely yes. I'm gonna keep writing it until it's finished. Probably be about 45, 50 chapters long. It's probably gonna be longer than 45 because I think it's on 44 at the moment. But I'm just doing so much in the moment. It's the Christmas period and I've got a lot going on in my life at the moment. And I don't want to write poor quality stuff. And I don't know how much of the right like, headspace I'm in to be writing Golden Girl at the moment because it's like a very happy, lighthearted story, like very comedic. Yeah, so yeah, new Golden Girl is coming. It will be completed, hopefully by the end of the year. Just need to find that happiness. Karma is real guys asked, how do you know Johnny Legend? So Johnny Legend is just the best, absolute best. And the reason he is the best is because we share the same blood, cause we're related. He's my cousin, he's American, he lives in Florida and I live in England, but um, I'm actually going to Florida next month for the whole month to work on Fret League with him. So that should be super duper fun. But yeah, he's my cousin. Winry said, you said y'all because I'm rubbing off on you. Yeah, because basically I never say y'all at all. I'm not country, I'm from, well, I am kind of country, but I'm from England and we just don't say y'all here. It just doesn't make sense. But I've started to say it lately, especially in videos. And Winry, it's definite, well, I don't know why I call her Winry, her real, wait, I don't know if she lets people know her real name. Well, anyway, yeah, she's great and she is very country and it is probably because she's been uh, rubbing off on me. If any of you don't know her, she is my artist. She does all my artwork for episode pretty much now. She's incredible and amazing and beautiful and you should go follow her on Instagram and show her some love. Episode Lucky said, went back because you threatened me in the next post. What's your favorite kind of scene to write? So what I did with this Q&A is uploaded a thing like, hey, yeah, like on my Instagram story, at one episode of, and uh, I was like, yeah, you should all ask me some questions and I'll do like a little Q&A. And then on the next post, I was like, if you've just read, like skipped over that last post and you didn't ask me a question, go back right now. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll threaten you episode lucky but my favorite kind of scene to write just something like really sassy really girly like I like writing girl arguments like mean girl stuff like that's just it gives me the total lols so yeah like bitchy mean argument scenes that are still like hilarious they're my favorite kind of scenes to write Lara Jane dot writes asked what is your favorite thing about writing it's definitely the creative freedom I've worked like for a few like people before or like done writing for people like BBC and Student Beans and stuff like that. And it can be very boring because you are told what to do. And I like being able to write whatever I want, whenever I want it, to write it. So that's definitely my favorite thing, writing whatever I want, whenever I want, going with my inspiration without being forced to do it by anyone. So this question is from Kevin underscore Gleason seven. Greatest boxing coach I know. It would have to be Kevin underscore Gleason seven. For any of you that don't know, 
you should have watched my earlier video. I can't believe you skipped this. But yeah, I'm going to Florida next month and I've been following Kevin on Instagram for a little bit now because his boxing skills are mad. Like I found him on Instagram, like as a fangirl because he, he is just so talented and I'm so unbelievably excited to train with him. For those of you that don't know, I am kind of into like mixed martial arts. So I like boxing, kickboxing and jujitsu. That's kind of what I train. So I didn't, when I go to Florida, I didn't just want to like, cause I'll be leaving my PTs back here, obviously. I didn't just like want to go and then just get fat for the month. So I'm going to be training with Kevin and I'm so, 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 so pumped. You'll probably see some videos cause I'll be all really excited. This is the techniques and I've never trained like that before. It's just going to be incredible. Lately, I've totally forgotten to like end the videos. Katrine called me after I sent her the stuff from my last video, like after I sent her the files. She was like, um, I couldn't find the file where you're like, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. And I was like, oh yeah, that's because I didn't film it. Because I'm an absolute stupid head. So, I want to do it this time. Thank you all for watching so much. You guys are literally the best. I'm enjoying YouTube so much right now. It's totally something I need to be doing. Like, it's so fun to have a new project to work on and none of it would be possible without you guys watching it. So thank you so much. If you want to see more, even if you don't, I don't care, just subscribe, please. And like, watch this video at least 10 times so I get those viewing hours up. Just put it on replay, even if you mute it. Just replay it constantly. Always watch my videos and watch every single one. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys. You're the best.